Hi guys, Igor Peshkovsky is here with uh, Windermere Bellevue Commons, your real estate advisor on the east side in Seattle and in Bellevue. Um, we have end of June already. Can you believe it? Six months are gone, but it's on a good note. It's sunny. The weather is awesome. People are getting hiking, biking, camping, whatever your thing is. Folks are doing it. Um, so quite exciting. We have another market update. Uh, lots of news, uh, which I'll save in the end on the business side of things. As you know, you've seen those market updates before. I try to keep it down to the down to very simple information of what is happening. I'll tell you exactly what it is. I've got a few interesting stories of what is going on in the market as well. So without overdue, we'll try to get off numbers out of the way will go quickly nothing had changed it's still not much had changed it's still a very much uh busy real estate market um things sell over asking for most of the cases so let's just dive into it and i'll tell you more so we'll go into the east side east side been kicking butt this year prices jumped about 25 percent just in the last five months you would if you buy last year you already are a genius if you bought five years ago gosh you made a lot of money but let's just see the reason for it is simple low inventory as you see on this gra uh, graph 0.3 of a month is a miserable number 0.3 of a month i see some homes some some friends of mine are calling them like oh my god igor like there are so many homes to sell like it seems like inventory doubled and i'm like yeah there was three houses for sale now it's six houses for sale. Come on. There is so much more money in here. And with such a low inventory, there are just not enough homes to buy. Prices, the median on the east side, 1.298, pretty much 1.3 mil. High numbers. It's unbelievable, but, but it is here. 1.3 million on the median size on the east side. And comparing to the last month's, 78% of homes sold over asking compared to april 82 percent did it really slow much four percent difference not not much of a slow uh down of a market 78 percent sold over asking median price from the list price median difference from the list price is 15 percent uh pretty much everything sells in four days so the market still moves really really relatively quickly on the east side let's look into seattle so let's look into Seattle. Seattle is following similar paths. Uh, it had a, hadn't moved as much as the east side did. I'll show you in the next slide, in the next few slides. But check this out. So inventory half of a month, very, very low. Median price had jumped 20% year over year at 919,000 uh, in Seattle. Not quite east side, but still very expensive. And it seems like the market got a little bit even faster uh, with, with the average days in the market, five days, 63% of homes sold over asking in the months of May and the median difference from the list price, 11%, which used to be nine last month. So Seattle market is picking up some steam. If you follow my videos before, I was saying that there is an opportunity in the condo market in Seattle uh, folks flew out of the downtown and other areas, you know, because of COVID, no one really wanted to buy a condo. That is changing. I don't necessarily have graphs for condos, but amount of pending sales in downtown Seattle had doubled. People are slowly coming back to offices in September. Condo market is starting moving again. So I was saying you did want to buy a condo and that opportunity started to close with the condo market increasing some speed. So here are a few stories for you. The market still feels very alive. Some days I look at a few homes that are only get in two, three offers and I'm like, oh my God, two, three offers. That's not that bad at all. We could compete. Prices are not going insane anymore. And then I see the house that sold 600,000 over asking, obviously in two and a half million price point, but there is a lot of money in there. And you heard that word inflation. Inflation that came out and said, well, inflation is 5% and it's all because there is a limited supply of everything, not just homes. My friends that sell cars in Toyota dealership, instead of 230 cars on the lot that they should have, they only have 70. Um, same thing if you go buy appliances. 
Uh, my builders, they're waiting for appliances packages. Some depend on the package, some for 11 months. The manufacturer just does, doesn't have all the parts needed to put the dishwasher together and obviously sell it. Same goes to windows and everything. The price of lumber that they built from, lumber, right, that goes into the frame, increased 300%. 300%. In the last week, uh, the price went down 40%, so maybe it will normalize somehow. But with the inflation being so so high, and uh, Fed says, well, it's all temporary, right? The prices will go down. The question is, do you really believe that the prices will go down? I personally don't. If you paid someone in McDonald's $15 an hour for the wage, and you increase that wage to $20 to keep up with inflation, when inflation is going down, are you going to move them back to 15 bucks an hour? Do you really see that? Do you personally believe that the prices will come down? The only thing that will come prices down would be an interest rate. But still, that was a big move. And I personally believe from everything I see, it will just keep moving on for now. We'll see for how long. They're talking about increasing interest rates in the end of 2022, which is a long time from now, if they will do it. But there is just a lot of money and people buy stuff. I've seen land that no one, dirt, that was getting three offers uh, uh, on it. Like it seems money are sick in real estate. And for now, they will keep due. And check out this special slide I have for you. Um, the prices across the board, you have huge increases. Redmond, 31% increase over a year. Kirkland, Rose Hill, 28%. Mercer Island, prices moved 32%. Renton, 21%. Kent, almost 20%. Seattle, in comparison, that's what I was talking about, in appreciation, didn't do as well, but still huge numbers. West Seattle, with that bridge being closed, 6.8%. Central Seattle, 9%. Beacon Hill, Georgetown, 10% appreciation. Bothell moved 25%. Like those numbers are astonishing. Those are year to day, 2021, comparing to the year to day, 2022, through the months of May. So do you think that the prices will go down? I'm curious, put, put, it, put your thoughts into a comment, into comment section, would love to hear. Those are my few thoughts, few numbers, and let's wrap up with some fun uh, business news that happened over the course of last month. Guys, there are a lot of things that are happening on the real estate market. And to wrap up with, I'll just, uh, let's see what happened in the business world that influenced the real estate market. It all works in the synergy, but it really, to me, it's pretty simple. I like simple things. There is a lot of money that stick in place. There are a lot of folks that might not necessarily all of the cash buyers, right? But they've got two, three, four hundred thousand in the bank. They have their significant down payments. They could weigh financing. There is definitely a lot of those folks. There are five houses for sale. It's pretty simple as that. I have a team with door knock. I go around Bellevue and I knock on the door. Hey, you want to sell? Go away. You want to sell? Yes, maybe. There are a lot of folks that lived in those homes for 20, 30 years and they have no place to go. They want to keep living around the area, but they cannot buy another house because it's expensive. So they just stick with their air homes. The builders don't build enough like that. That's another game that is challenging. So supply is very limited. And for that reason, even if we have some recession, it's not going to be a real estate related recession as it was the last time. So probably, I, I don't know, I'm a real estate person, but I, I'd stay bullish in our market. It, it seems that, and you'll see that the money are still here and they're not really going anywhere for now. So we'll see, we'll see. But let's see what business going on. What are the business things that are going on around? So six Seattle area tech companies that could be destined for Wall Street. Besides all of the big ones, let's see what are the small ones doing. Rover, that's the one that is connecting uh, pet owners to pet sitters. Uh, My Go Public, evaluation 1.63 billion. Wow. We have few. Ramitly, Extra Hop, whatever they're doing, I don't know. Rec Room, Provided a social gaming platform. I like that. That's pretty cool. Outreach, Stackline, and so on. 
they all are destined to go public and get rich uh, on the stock market, but also finance their companies, attract very good high paid talent, keep buying homes around here. They are all those companies are here. Next, King County reaches 70 vaccinate, 70% 70 vaccinated will drop mask mandate in two weeks. That's exciting. I really like that. I, I can't wait to take that mask down. We're going into better times, better economy, people going back to work, supposedly. Um, it's great news. It's supposed to happen in the next just few days, probably by the time this video will air. Uh, going back to normal, life supposed to go back to normal. I love it. Heinz moving forward with downtown Bellevue mega project. If you haven't been to Bellevue, you should just drive downtown. That's insane of what is happening. You never seen downtown like that. Um, the side where the Home Depot is and there is the Petco will be fully, fully changed. 6.75 acres mixed use development in downtown Bellevue. That's probably the biggest site out there. Crazy stuff. But Bellevue is kicking butt. AQ office and wills plans for 70 million US bank center makeover. I included that one, which talks about that um, a big equity firm will remodel one of their downtown buildings. The point of the article is there are money being invested in Seattle. We've, we've seen movies, Seattle is dying and there are all kinds of things going on, but the money are coming back to Seattle. There is confidence to invest money in Seattle, in downtown. Employees are coming back, businesses are coming back. So Seattle condo sales are coming back. There are a lot of things that are coming back in Seattle. And I just like this article for a fact that it just provides confidence. If they're spending 70 million in their building in downtown Seattle, you're probably safe to buy a condo there. Um, next, Seattle hasn't lost it a pill when with bi biotech uh, executives. So sorry, Bothell. There are a lot of things going on in Bothell, but folks are still like having their offices for larger firms to be in, you know, urban settings to be in Seattle because it's a big city. This is our place, right? Uh, when you go to Chicago, you don't say I live in Bothell, you say Seattle because that's that is the place. And one of my favorite Bellevue receives all America City Award 2021. There were 20 other cities nationwide picked as finalists to this award and Bellevue won. Whatever it means, it means that it's a great city to be a part of. It's a great city to have an office in. It's a great city to be living at. And we're grateful to be in Bellevue here. This is your market update. It's been a lot of different news. Reach out to me for more. I live, breathe, think, love real estate. And uh, that's what I do. That's what my hobby is. This is it. Any questions you have, any thoughts, put in comments. Thank you so much for being with us for another market update. Um, this is your Igor Pechkovsky, Winterman Bellevue Commons, and looking forward to, to see you next month. Bye-bye.